When you think of a classic wind coaster, what is the first thing that comes to mind? You'd probably guess a PTC Woody first, followed by side friction coasters and scenic railways. I'm OG, y'all new to the game. Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to make a realistic PTC Woody for your park. If you don't have Planet Coaster, you can still learn the style of these coasters. Feel free to politely correct me on any facts I get wrong. Classic wooden coasters are much loved by coaster enthusiasts. These wooden coasters often aren't considered to be RMC'd, or when this company called Rocky Mountain Construction strips the wooden track and replaces it with steel eyebox track. A lot of these PTC Woodies are ace landmarks because they are much loved. So PTC Woodies obviously use PTC trains, which are found on the wooden coaster Monster in game. It is very important to know that these trains aren't very flexible, so don't use them for modern day Woodies because then they'll make a screech that's unpleasant to the ear. PTC Woodies have a wider color range than most Woodies. A few examples are blue, brown, tan, white and brown, and even red. Typically, the colors are the same as the default colors found on the GCI Woody in-game. So I would choose the GCI Woody, make the station a little longer, and get out of the editor. Realistically, you would have to raise the station up a little bit, so I'll go ahead and do that. Then go to the customization tab and change the trains to the PTC or monster trains. Then I would go back to the editor. Usually these coasters start off with a simple turn out of the station, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now for the lift hill, these coasters aren't very tall at all. The smallest PTC Woody is, I believe, Woodstock Express at various Cedar Fair parks, which are around 24 feet while the tallest one is Screamin' Eagle at Six Flags St. Louis at 110 feet. So I'm gonna get this lift hill around 80 feet a la Blue Streak at Cedar Point. Most wooden coasters go 30 degrees up, so make sure to have angle snap on for that. PTC Woodies are known to have out and back layouts, but some are cyclone and even twister layouts. Their hills and drops are known to be non-parabolic, meaning their hills aren't always curvy, but they can be though. Non-parabolic hills can also be found on aero hypers and just older coasters in general. Typically, the drop angle is 45 degrees, but the steepest is 50 degrees on a racing coaster we all know of. So I'm gonna build my drop. For all coasters, keep vertical G's under 4.5 and laterals under 2. I know there are some exceptions like I-305. Now I'm gonna make a bunny hop as many of these coasters do. Now I'm going to make an elevated turn to the right. Now a lot of older wooden coasters use anti-rollback devices. Actually they're still being used today. These are basically little chain lifts except without the chain. These are just in case if it's running slow, it doesn't valley in the middle of the ride, and instead stops on it. Planet Coaster currently doesn't have an anti-rollback device, so I'm going to go ahead, shorten the length to 4 meters, and use a chain lift. Now I'm going to go back to my normal length and do the turn. I'm going to drop again and do another bunny hop. By the way, since these coasters are old, to be honest, you don't have to touch the smooth tool at all if you want to make this realistic. Since it goes at a moderate speed, you won't get any high fear or nausea ratings. So I've done the bunny hop, now I'm going to make this turnaround. I'm going to use an AR device again. This is what I call a classic turnaround. All PTC woodies have this and it is a staple. It gives you a break from the throws. So I'm going to bank this at around 15 degrees, and now I'll make a drop again. So I'll do a big hill, so coasters like Racer at Kings Island and many others have at least one giant hill that you would put an AR device on. Then I'll do that left turn, again using an AR device. So I'll include a double up, which can be found on these sometimes. My recorder stopped, but I just made one more bunny hop, and then the brakes. So you can just make your typical brake run. I don't know why, but a lot of these PTC ways have roofs over the brake run. So if you want to make this look realistic, put a little roof over the brake run, and maybe a sign on the top of the lift hill saying instructions, and then you're done. So I'm just going to put some scenery, make it look nice, and now I'm done. And that, my friends, is how you make a PTC Woody and Planet Coaster. I'll end this off with a POV of the ride. If you find this video helpful, then please leave a like. I really appreciate it. And remember, if this is your first time here and you love roller coasters, then please consider subscribing for some various roller coaster content.
Thank you for watching this video. This week's shout out goes to the Coaster Pro. She makes some really cool countdowns as well as shout outs and reaction videos. So go subscribe to her. I'll put the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.